can pull off movement no. like this. You're, you're really quite right about that. Oh, the wall prism. Oh, that was a great pickoff right wow. there. And getting the disruptor as well. Oh my gosh, Alpha Star with the pure stalker strategy. This is <laughs> insane control though. Multiple armies being good. Oh, the immortals went down. And now it's just a couple of zealots and obviously stalkers are fat. Well, there are still a couple of immortals on yeah. the north side, but it's incredibly difficult to do this in a game of stalker yeah. field. Where you micro and units on the south side of your screen, but at the same time, you also have to do it on the north side. And you know what's really Pre kind of... Um, so the first training process of uh, supervised learning, learning from reply, replays takes about three days. Mm -hmm. And that gets you to perhaps a platinum level player. It's, it's hard to estimate. And then uh, the league itself, as I was saying, was run for seven days. Okay, and what does that mean Like, if you would compare it to, let's say, us playing for seven days? Yeah, so seven days um, of, you know, l l real time is actually longer, slightly longer in kind of StarCraft. As Steam was saying before, we get a binary that can run the game quite, quite much faster. Mm -hmm. So the most experienced agents we see um, today have played about 200 years of StarCraft 2. Slightly. Th yeah. 200 <laughs> years yeah. of StarCraft 2. Yeah. It's a fun life. <laughs> I guess it is. I aspire to be one of your agents. Um, wow, that's... I, I'm kind of caught off guard there. I, I do want to ask you guys about, like... Hang on. For the, for the podcast, everybody, let me list this. This is an Australian. He's part of my community. I love this guy. Here's his list. Probe, Seether, Igas, Hut, and Pez. Did anyone get excited when I say that? Yes, yes. But that's, me but that, right here. I got excited about all of those guys. They're all okay. awesome. Pez but that is the part of the problem. Soldier. Is that like these the same reason why like the t the bottom sixteen North Americans aren't talked about either? Like, can you bring up more than ten North Americans? I, I'm not. <laughs> I uh, have my baby. Ah. Oh, well. Dude, what what a pack, you know? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Phoenix is about to come out soon, but once again, this war prism is gonna allow Officer to micro these units incredibly well. And ooh, I mean, well, it, it, so far the micro is good. It's it's not like perfect micro that we're watching at the moment. But look at this, getting backwards, kind of kiting everything with these stalkers. Some good juggling going on. That war prism still yeah. alive, though very low on health. Yeah, a couple of stalkers are very low on health as well. Nice pick up there on the oracle. So both air units went down for TLO, but. Still but have two, and in game number five, I decided I identified a weakness uh, in Alpha Star that it didn't scout very well. So my plan was to build a proxy pylon in the enemy base and go for four gate. Uh -huh. However, coincidentally, Alpha Star also decided to go for a proxy <laughs> and put a proxy pylon in my natural and went for four gate. I went for three gate, but unfortunately, my pylon was just one inch off and got scouted. And I had oh. three gates, but my pylon got unpowered, and Alpha Star beat me with the proxy. It was really interesting that we both decided to go for the same strategy there. But yeah, it was a, a full sweep, 05. Wow. Well, I, again, you are actually a Zerg main race player. Uh, but having played this, and you're a very good Protoss player, there's no doubt about that. What are your... Yo, can we get some Why Are You Not in GM in the chat? Because it's the first week of a new season, and there will be some very sad viewers who have this conception of certain streamers in their mind who are who bear the Grandmaster's border, and they won't have it. Not even the Muslim. Not even TLO when he streams. Not even Lambo. Hero Marine. No one has Grandmaster this week and for someone who doesn't know about the first week there's no gm they'll just be disappointed streamer i followed you for years i cheered you on in tournaments but at this time 
You're not even GM. Not even Loco is GM. Not even Sarah. When, when he got scouted. <laughs> he cancelled the fucking Stargate to try and trick TLO. <laughs> what? Wait a minute, what? And then he rebuilds the Stargate in the back of his fucking base. Holy shit. So that way, so if TLO scouts the front, he won't see the Stargate and he'll be thinking, what, hey, wait, he, oh, he's not going Stargate now? But he actually still is going Stargate. What the fuck? Shit. Then sort of got thrown away a bit because he built more oracles that didn't really do much. <laughs> Nathanius! It's time! It's time to accept! I'm a mech god, I'm a part of this community. I've been trying to de-escalate TENSIONS between the Avalon Nation and whatever it is you call your stream followers. It is time to put petty squabbles aside and accept the fact that this is not acceptable. Attention? Who the fuck cares? We both stream StarCraft 2! We both have passion for the game! We both play this game! Join the Avalonation Alliance! Stop being a little bitch! <laughs> I'm just saying! I'm just... I'm just saying! <laughs> don't... Don't oh, end- Stalker's out. 30 is a, a number beyond anything that we really ever see. Now, Mana is kind of zoning them out with that powerful disruptor. Here Alpha Star comes trying to target down wow. some of these important units and actually picks off the disruptor. So that was pretty strong and some fantastic <laughs> micro blinking back. Okay, this micro is starting to get a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> no, I don't think a single stalker went down up to this point. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, losing a few of them here and starting to pick off some of the immortals. Now a stasis war the blink time or the blink cost. 150, 150, which is already reasonable to 100, 100. Oh, sorry, hold on. Hello? Hi. Yeah, this is Fear Dragon. <laughs> Hitman? Hit Hitman, is that you? You're coming back to StarCraft? The Blink All-In is back? Oh my <laughs> god. Jeff, I have some great news. I was just on the phone yeah. with the legendary Hitman, and it turns out one base Blink All-Ins are back. Yeah. That's amazing they called you like that. That's so sick. <laughs> How long have you been waiting to do that? I actually... <laughs> the phone actually it, is that your actual phone it, ring, or is that a sound that you was, had? That was actually a phone ring. <laughs> I downloaded an app that that like I think is the the advertisement for the app is boxing out. Still M canning not it. Oh my god, oh my god, he's going to recall into the mine. He's going to recall his army. He does over the top, and now suddenly Warren has to scramble to defend. Plenty of zerglings on the side going to deal with this, but oh, he has to come up the ramp. What a play! The can. Just a, a, a small step jump and recall into the main base. And remember, he can just recall out. Defense at the back. Incredible play from M Canning. There's no gas for Warren. He just lost his hive. He still has access to a Hydra Den, and he has his Spire. But without the hive, he can't replace these buildings. Storm's coming through. Warren just did not expect this. The investors are not there. Warren has no gas in the bank. M Canning, his... His golden armada stands strong. The Templar in support. Archon's being- Oh, I'm playing unranked. I'm not gonna give this guy uh, attention on my stream. Killing the Spire kept you in there? Yeah, I thought he was gonna go into Broodlords. Well, that's why I would killed the Spire. Because he had those Corruptors earlier. But then he went like full into the Vipers. And I was like, ah. Uh, Mass Viper is like the best counter to Cyclone Hellion. Because you just abduct everything. All your units die instantly. Rifkin would be the best caster of the farming simulator league. Are you kidding me?
I'd be so biased. I'd be like, you're not building, you're not planting enough parsnips. How are you going to make profit in the spring if you're only planting the minimum amount of what you got? And then who's going to till those fields when you're sitting at home, right? Complaining about your losses? No, you got to till those fields. I'd be the worst caster for so current. This is a very nice visualization also prepared by the team um, after the matches, which essentially shows quite a few things. Um, so here, starting on the top left, we see Alpha Star um, view. Um, the game as as it's kind of it's focusing its attention on this area of the map. Uh, as Dave said, we don't have the notion of a camera, but it kind of focuses wherever you're seeing that screen on. And importantly and interestingly, Alpha Star observes or perceives the game only when it wants to act. So this arrow that appears and disappears, it means when it appears, it means now it's actually looking at what's going on. Um, then this kind of observation goes into uh, what we call neural network. Um, I must say these words here for, for kind of the machine learning people out there. Um, these three sort of spheres that are kind of changing in color is actually what we call an LSTM, but let's not talk about that in the stream, perhaps. Um, so this is kind of a bit of the yeah, brain. deal with this is we do see this SCV. Yeah, I think we'll finish the CC in time. One shot, two shots. Oh my God, the SCV wasn't uh, one shotable, two shotable, wasn't three shotable, sorry. Had already taken some damage. <gasps> oh, it was so close as well. His next SCV. He's already lost two SCVs trying to finish this. Oh my god. He's going to lose another one. One of death kills. Three SCVs. Astasia still can't finish his expansion. Just will be able to. Just able to right there. Pylon drops down the left hand side as Blink starts. I mean, are we going to see like a proxy gateway? This really guy. That guy. Can we get some custom? They're like, yeah, sure. They're like practicing, they're like fucking expanding, they're doing charge lots, they're doing immortals, you know, they're doing archons. And then mana down four zero. He's like This is everything I worked towards for twenty years of playing StarCraft. This is my moment. I'm gonna take it for humanity. I'm gonna wall off of these two gateways. I'm gonna do what I know. I'm gonna scout. I'm gonna do everything I know. And then there's a pro pylon here, and man is like, okay, you're trying to throw me off, it's not gonna work. Scouts this, he's like, okay, what the fuck is going on? And then sees this in front of his base, and he's just like... That's beautiful. Yo solo juego en NA, vive. Ahí está su entrenamiento coreano. I know. I know. No juego en Norteamérica porque todos son bien malos. Todos son bien malos. Pinche servidor de noobs. Ah. Ah. Pinche servidor de noobs. Yo solo juego en Corea. Y mira. Mira, de todas maneras no le gano a nadie en Norteamérica. Pero yo. Yo solo juego en Corea. Soy Ario. Soy de raza aria, conchetumare. Ah, Corea, Corea, todos son noobs. Ah, todos está débil. Ah, pinche Zerx. No mames, ridículo. 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 units, this is what we would consi consider like a, a, a pretty standard Protoss vs. Protoss opening. I actually love this. The adapts going through the middle of the map. Oh my gosh. That's some pro level play. That was... If you talk about minor things, like, oh, yeah. if you don't do this, if you don't let that shade finish up, your adapts will run straight into the forces of...